Hi guys, um, so my name is Abby Clark and I am a student here at Kent State Geauga and I am here with Dr. Sue Clement who is the head of our geology department here and we're just going to kind of get to know her and just about you know her life and you know her as a teacher and I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, let's go ahead. Okay, so how did you know that you wanted to become a teacher? I think it was kind of in, innate in me, you know what I mean? I just, I, I think when I started it, my undergrad career, uh, I had the opportunity to actually work in a lab, the Intro Geology Lab, and uh, with those experiences, I just, I just loved it. I just, I just kind of knew. And so then, you just kind of like a knack for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and then that just kind of, you know, continued when I went mm -hmm. out to grad school. So where did you begin teaching and where have you taught? Okay, so I would say the first place that I taught was uh, not as a professor, like, like we were just talking mm -hmm. about, taught as a, a, as a geology student at Cleveland State at uh, Akron. Uh, I taught my first lecture class at Kent while I was working on my PhD, um, but I have also taught at Youngstown State, I've taught at uh, Edinburgh University over in uh, Pennsylvania yeah, yeah. and I've also taught at the College of Worcester. Oh, yeah, it's extensive. But I'm here at Kent State. Um, so what is your biggest pet peeve of students? Ah, uh, two things! That, those are really good questions I, I want you to know. It's a good question. The, I, I would say my biggest thing is uh, when students just don't try. Yeah. Right. If you just come into class, come into the lab, and you just sit there, and then when it comes time to to do mm -hmm. some work in the class, if you just sit there and don't try, it drives me crazy. Yeah. Just, just try. Yeah. Um, the other thing is cell phone use. That's another one. It does. Right. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> it does. It does drive you nuts. Anyway, so I I ask people just put Turn it on vibrate. Off, yeah. yeah. Put it on vibrate. If you have to have to take a call, go. Yeah. But. Don't be checking Facebook and Snapchat <laughs> the whole Snapchat. time. Yeah. Um, what is on your bucket list? Ooh, that's a good one. Um, bucket list is probably going to be travel. I really, really, really want to get to New Zealand one day, Australia, uh, and even Iceland. I'd like to go there. Yeah, those. And I'd like to go before it's really difficult to to yeah. walk around and do yeah. it. But uh, I would say that. Sweet. Yeah. Um, what is your favorite sports team, or what is your favorite sport, but like your favorite team in that sport? Yeah, so it, my uh, favorites in sports have kind of changed over time. I, anything Cleveland, um, yeah. I'm all about, right? And just so you know, the CLE is for Cleveland. Yeah. Uh, but I also want to say that uh, any most women's team sports I'm super into. So have you been watching the FIFA World Cup? Yes, the yes. World Cup, yes, totally. Yes. And also, it's also WNBA season, yeah. so the Women's Pro Basketball League. Um, unfortunately, we no longer have a team. We used to have a team yeah. uh, before the LeBron era. So, yeah. Uh, so yeah, women's sports probably catches my attention, but anything clean. Yeah. Um, so, last question is, what is your favorite aspect of teaching? Uh, Kinsey Giaga. Uh, my favorite thing is interacting with my students. Honestly, I, yeah, uh, I, I just, I, I just enjoy just the us. vibe. I really, I really do. I feel very grateful that I found the thing that I like and the thing that I like to do and the thing that I think I'm good at. Um, and so I, you know, I started teaching here after my PhD work at Kent mm -hmm. uh, as, as a part-timer, as an adjunct, and I was able to get that full-time job. And, I, and I've and i looked at other places, um, but I just feel so at home here. I, I can't imagine going anywhere else. So. I, think, I think most of us, you know, staff, faculty, mm -hmm. and so forth, I think most of us feel that way, and we want, you know, students to feel the same. So. Yeah. That's why we're doing this. Yeah, thank so. you very much. I really appreciate that you're doing this. All right, well, that's it. And until next time.